Good evening gamers, how are we all doing? Today I'm going to play a new demo. This is Unusual Findings. A game heavily set in the 80s, which is the era I grew up in. The 80s was just rad. The 80s was cool. We had good films, good music, you know, good TV programs, health and safety wasn't about. Bright colours, massive logos, everything was cool back then. Anyway, let's play a game. I just want to go over something quickly. Make sure I've got streamer mode on. Yeah, I have, so I don't get copyrighted. Right, let's play a game. This is the intro, I love it. Vincent Falco, what did I tell you? But, Dad! What did I tell you? That... I'm grounded. Exactly! And that means no TV, no radio, and no video games. I love That's the music. so unfair. The music's proper 80s. Are you joking? You and your criminal friends blew away half of Mrs. Johnson's garden. I regret nothing. We did it for research purposes. I'm sorry it was an accident. We didn't know that sodium was so... I'm sorry. It was an accident. We didn't know that sodium was so volatile. Vinny, you're a smart kid. I'm glad you like science. But there are a lot of things to do other than electrocuting, burning, or blowing stuff up. I get the point. I I'm sorry. That's much better. But you are still grounded. So no video games. Do you understand me? I understand. That's much better. See you tomorrow. But just in case you didn't understand me well enough, I'll be taking these cartridges with me. But Dad! Hey, it takes courage to apologize when you did something wrong. You're growing, and I'm proud of you. That means I'm not grounded anymore? Nope. But it reduces your sentence. I don't want you to think that your decisions don't have consequences. Because believe me, they do. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to deal with the results of your actions. Remember, your attitudes toward other people matters. Anyways. I'm locking this door. Good night. Someone's throwing rocks in my window. If I had to guess, it's Nick or Tony. Eh, probably Nick. I should open the window to see what's going on. I love the poster references. You've got, um, Extraterrestrial War of the Worlds. That's Back to the Future. These are all references to films that were made when I was a kid. Okay, what have we got here? Okay, I can look, I can touch, or I can speak. Can we open this? The door is locked. Okay. I don't recall where I left the key, but it should be around here somewhere. I love the music. Let's see if we can have a look in here then. No more cool stuff hiding here. Okay, so let's go over to the window. Let's see if we can open this. And look outside. Hey, hey. Vinny Vinny! Shh! Shut up, Nick! I'm grounded! Oh, yeah. Well, me too. I think everyone heard about our, uh, experiments near Mrs. Johnson's garden. Then what are you doing here? Are you crazy? The last of the crap Tony needs to make a signal descrambler came in the mail! We're gonna get pay-per-view cable for free! We gotta get to Tony's house! I'm not so sure, Nick. Three words, man. Naked. Chicks. On TV. Those are four words. But... <sighs> you win. Give me a minute. Just keep it quiet, all right? So 
So all of this is to watch adult TV, to watch the adult channel. Can I use this zip line then? When Brian Broken Arms Tuscan tried that last year, he earned his nickname. <laughs> Since then, he doesn't hang out with us anymore. I like uh, the jacket he's got from McFly. That looks pretty cool. He looks like he's straight out of Lost Boys. I love the old graphics. This is cool. Back when I was a kid and all we had was PC, this is all we could play. Right, I need something then to go on this zip line, I think. I can't open the cupboards. What is this? Bike pegs. It could be fun to start practicing BMX stunts again. Actually, had a BMX as well. Toy figure. One of Luke Masters. I think he would look silly fighting a regular sized person. An Empire spacecraft model E90. It can travel at light speed with ease. Awesome. So I can't get in there, there's nothing in there. What is this thing? Oh, it's my inventory. Cool. Let's see if I can do anything with these stump pigs in. If I attach these to a pulley, it should be able to slide properly. Okay, can I talk to this? Can I talk to Nick some more? Hey! What? Are you sure Tony made a signal scrambler? Are you sure scrambler? Tony made a signal disc scrambler? Yes, yeah, of course. Probably. Maybe. The point is, there is a big chance of seeing uncensored adult movies tonight, and you shouldn't miss it! Okay, I'm in. Isn't Tony Grounded 2? Can you help me get out? Is anyone around? Can you open the treehouse Ah, uh, ha ha! Can you open the treehouse window? Are you gonna use the zipline? Isn't that, yep. like, kinda risky? I mean, yep. you could fall, your dad is going to find you all crippled, then he's going to call my parents, and I don't want that to happen. Uh, chicken, don't worry, man. If I break a leg, I will silently crawl back to my don't home. Don't worry, man. If I break a leg, I will silently crawl back to my home. Okay, I understand. I guess a night of free pay-per-view cable is worth the risk. Wait, sure, Tony, da, 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 it isn't Tony Grounded. Just give me a minute. Just give me a minute. Okay, but hurry! So, is there anything else out here I can do other than talk to. I still can't use that zipline yet. Hang on, window box. Hey, there's hey. The to my wardrobe! Now I remember. I put it here because my sister is allergic to these flowers. Now that I say it out loud, man, I sound paranoid. But I'm almost positive she uses my things when I'm out. Alright, to the wardrobe. Rad! <laughs> hey, my old Roboto Battle Station! What were you doing there? Right, so if I put this on there. Good idea. But I'll need to add some kind of handle I can grip. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Understood. Can I put that with that? Yes. Let's go. Okay. This is my one way ticket out. Let's make this thing spin. I played several games like this when I was younger, when I was a kid. It kind of makes me feel like a kid again. It's kind of cool. I like the art design to it. Everything's 80s, I love it. 
If you guys want to see more of this, just hit the like button. This is on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. I'm actually playing the PS5 version. Conan the Barbarian, Pac-Man, Star Wars, oh wow. I'm loving all the old posters. Hey Tony, we're here! Did we miss anything? No, not really. I'm almost done connecting the antenna. Are you sure this is going to work? Why does it even need the antenna if we're trying to pick up cable? I installed a transmitter on the cable box down the street. That way there's no big obvious wires leading right to this house. And believe me, this thing has way more power than we need to watch free cable. You still have those pony bed sheets? Yeah, the pony cartoon has its moments. And my grandmother thinks ponies are cool. Don't go around saying that ponies are lame. Uh, if you say so, I guess I'll give it a second chance. That poster behind Tony above his head, that's from They Live. That's an awesome film. I used to watch that all the time when I was a kid. Anyway, sorry. If you say no, I guess, if you if say you so. If you say so, <coughs> I guess I'll give it a second chance. I'm sure you're going to like it. And in season two, things get much better with the first two pony babies and all. Megan really grew as a character. Really? Yeah. Anyways, I would love to keep hearing you talk about ponies, but let's go back to what is important. When are we gonna start watching adult television? After some final adjustments. Can you move the antenna a bit? Okay, let me try. It's working! What the hell is that? Looks like some kind of sci-fi movie. From China? What language is this even in? I have no idea. But I didn't build a descrambler, so we could catch the international channel. Let's try another one. Something's wrong. This thing is on every single channel. On the plus side, we can watch Chinese movies. What, what was that? the hell was that? That wasn't a shooting star. I don't think that was a movie. What do you mean? It could be possible that we just witnessed some sort of distress call from a spaceship that just crashed in the South Plains Greenwoods. I I'm not sure. What if it was just the weirdest coincidence ever? Then what are we waiting for? That wasn't far from here. Let's go find out. But what about the Cable Girls? Look, if that was an alien spaceship, we could be the first humans to meet beings from another planet. Don't you want to be part of human history? I mean, but the girls! I'm pretty sure that if we become part of human history, we'll get more girls than if we stay home stealing Cable. You got a point. Let's get moving. I'm actually really getting into this. Uh, 
according to my calculations, we must be near. Yeah, it smells like burnt ass. It's too bumpy. We'll have to walk from here. We've got to get over there. But the stream's in the way. Okay, yes. Give this a go. I can't move it. It's too rusty. Let me give it a try. Yeah, this is too rusty. We need something to lube it up. <laughs> Can't talk to Tony, can I? No. I love the ambience. Look, the bushes are moving. Hello? Mr. Extraterrestrial? Is that you? Uh, we saw your transmission. We come in peace. They don't... Those uh -oh. are not the aliens we're looking for. Those are wolves. I knew this was a bad idea. Quick, pretend to be bigger. Wolves almost never attack adults. Go away. I've got a mortgage to pay. Shoo! Shoo! <laughs> really? Shut up, it's working! Shoo! Shoo! I have three kids and a boring job! Shoo! This isn't working. Any other plan? Uh, run every man for himself, let the quicker for <laughs> Let's scare them by attacking aggressive. I'll charge them, you cover me. Let's scare them by acting aggressive! I'll charge them, you cover me! Are you sure about this? I saw it in a documentary. A honey badger did this to a group of lions and he escaped. Those aren't lions. We're not honey badgers, and this is not a documentary. Let's give it a try. We have nothing to lose. Other than our life. Are you sure we don't have any other option? What was that? Okay. Those wolves were bad enough, but that sound perturbed me even more. If that was an alien, aliens are loud. We should get away from here before the wolves change their minds. What are you doing here? This is no time to visit the woods, kids. Didn't you know the area's full of wolves? Yeah, we just saw some of them over there. You were lucky they didn't attack you. You better get home. If you do it quick, I won't tell your parents about this. Sir, yes sir. Let's go. Wait. Do you know what this blue liquid is? It was like this when we got here. Did you see or hear anything else unusual tonight? No. Something tells me you're not being honest with me. Does anyone else know that you... What the hell? What the fuck? Run! Let's get to the treehouse. Okay. Here's the situation. There's a killer alien in town and we're the only ones that know about it. We should tell the police. We could try, but I don't think they'll believe us. We could at least tell the park rangers that one of their guys was attacked in the woods. That makes sense. I think we should stop it ourselves. Who knows how many people that creature is going to kill before the police realize what's up? Any suggestions on how we're gonna do that? I was thinking of setting a trap. A bear trap. No one can escape a bear trap. I think it would be better if we could ensnare him with a strong net. He seems to have long limbs, so in my opinion, 
A net would be the more effective option. We could dig a big hole and cover it with leaves. Who do you think you are? Willy E. Coyote? Because your net idea is so much better! Please remind me, what are we trying to catch again? An alien or a shark? Gentlemen, please, there's no need to argue. Look, we don't know anything about this alien, except that it's all gangly and likes to stab people. Maybe we should take a blanket approach, you know? Cover all our bases. We can put together a bigger trap that uses all three ideas. The hole, the net, and the bear trap. At least if it fails, nobody can point fingers. Sounds fair to me. And don't worry about digging the hole. I'm sure the bull will help us with that. He owes me big time. Okay, there you go. Congratulations, you're completing the demo. I wanted to know more. Purchase now. There you go, folks. Thanks for watching. If you guys want to see more of this, I actually enjoyed playing it, to be honest with you. It wasn't as boring as I thought it might have been. This was actually entertaining to play. You guys want to see more of this? Just hit the like button, alright? Thanks for watching. Love all of you. High five. I'll see you guys later. Cheerio.